welcome to my channel in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys what i eat in a day so before we get into the video i just want to say on the weekends i typically cook all my meals and then throughout the week i will meal prep and eat those meals obviously that i meal prep so this happens to be a weekend and then what i'm also happy about is that usually on the weekends like i have a bit more of a variety being that throughout the week i'm eating the same thing so if that interests you, be sure to stick around and check out the rest of the video. This is turkey bacon, and then I have a piece of sourdough, one egg. There's three pieces of turkey bacon. I still have my tea from earlier, and then I have a little bit of orange juice. I don't know about you, but I love drinking my orange juice out of a wine glass. Like, I just feel it's so like I'm out at brunch. No mimosa, just that. So I'm gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna head off to the gym for leg day. I do actually have to get groceries today, so I'll take you guys along for that. But yeah, I'm going to eat this, and then I will catch you guys here in a little bit. So you guys i just came from walmart because the last store that i went to did not have everything that i want so while i was in there i came across this alani protein shake i've been seeing quite a few people talk about it so let's see what all the hype is about i hope that it's good so this did cost three dollars this is 20 grams of protein this is the chocolate one and it's 140 calories for those of you that care when it comes to like chocolate protein drinks i typically will always start off with a chocolate one just because i feel sometimes the vanilla one just tastes weird like i feel chocolate is kind of hard to mess up but we'll see This tastes pretty good. I mean, to me, I've tasted quite a few protein drinks, whether that was Premier Protein, Muscle Milk, um, even, I can't think of that other one. We shall see. I think it's fine. It's nothing like, ooh, ah, about it, but it doesn't taste bad. It did say shake well. I did not do that. Do not freeze or refrigerate after opening. I'm just gonna drink that real quick and see what's up. Mm. 
Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. So you guys, this is what I got for the week. This came up to a little over like $60. Some things new that I've never had. I've seen that Chobani had like these little protein things. So I'm going to try those and see what that's like. And then those pancakes, like I swear by those. I just think that they're so good. But the only thing is that 36 come in there and they're super small. But you are supposed to eat them within the first three days of opening them. And then this is primarily just like my stuff for um, breakfast. And then that chicken over here, like that will be for dinner. The rest of this is just really snacks. It's crazy to think that this stuff costs $60 because it's really not that much. But you know. It is what it is. It's within the budget. The rest of the food uh, I already had previously bought from last week, which was some fish, which I'll be eating like later today and throughout the week. So yeah. I'm back for lunch. I'm gonna be making some broccoli here. Uh, these savory things, when I tell you I live by these, especially for like spinach and broccoli. Sometimes I do put my fruit in them. Uh, there's a like little lever up here where you can switch like if you have fruit, it will be open, and if you have uh, vegetables, it will be closed. But these things, I think, really does make a difference. I've had this broccoli in there, like, since last week, and, like, it still looks the way that it did when I bought it. And then, also, I will just have, like, some chicken, and then I had a sweet potato that I made last week, too. So, I'm trying to be better about eating all of the food that I make. So being this, this is from last week, if I don't eat it today, I'm not going to eat it at all. So I am gonna heat this up in the microwave and then make this on the stove. And then I'll show you guys after I'm done. So I guess I'll talk to you guys a little bit while I'm eating in between. But, um, so as far as nutrition, so for those of you guys that don't know, I was a vegetarian for about eight years. And then at the start of this year, I just decided that I was going to switch it up and go back to eating meat. So there was no real reason behind why I became a vegetarian. But over the last year and a half, probably two years, I was consistently talking about like, hey, I'm going to start eating meat again. I'm going to start eating meat again. But I never kind of made that leap. And I think part of it was that I was kind of wrapped up in my own identity as far as like food. And people just feel like, oh, wow, like you just quit. And not that like I truly care about people's perception of me like in that way. But it was also like you didn't really start for a reason. So you really didn't stop for a reason. But there was something that was still just like holding me back until I finally like came across this video and it was just talking about you know like what if what's preventing you from getting the results you uh, desire to have or like in your simple daily practices and stuff like that so I said you know what I'm just gonna go I'm gonna start I'm gonna do it and when I went to the store I was like freaking out for some reason not like oh my gosh screaming but I think I was like sort of like hyperventilating for a little bit. And even the lady at the store that worked in like the produce section, she was just like, oh my gosh, like, sweetie, are you okay? And I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm fine. And then uh, I ended up starting off with chicken. So, so far, I've really just had chicken and um, I don't want a napkin to be used for that. I really just had a uh, chicken. I did have a little bit of turkey and then primarily fish. So that's what I'm going to be sticking to for a little bit. Like I do, I don't mind like sausages and stuff like that, but I'm just not there yet. And also like the first week or so, my stomach was upset. So I've kind of gotten over that phase, but I'm still just like a little skeptical to a certain extent. And there's nothing really like that I want that's like sausage base and I haven't eaten any beef. So we'll, you know, we'll work our way up to that when something stands out. But yeah, that's all that I wanted to go against. And this broccoli came out really, really good. So I'll cook you guys 
at dinner. So you guys, this is my last meal of the day. I just have some tilapia. I have asparagus that I'm gonna make here. And then I have some minute rice. I swear by this brown rice, like I just feel that it's really good, better than when I make rice in my rice maker. So I just put this in there for a minute. I take it out, put some butter, some salt and pepper and So that's gonna be dinner. I'm gonna get started on that. Strawberry on my lips, a chill fingertips. I want to thank you so so much for taking time out of your day to watch my video i hope that you truly enjoyed it and in the comments below be sure to let me know the type of things that you tend to eat or meal prep and i'll be sure to catch you guys in the comments until the next video but as usual be sure to enjoy your own journey bye